This is uh, Mark Breland. Who? Mark Breland, who was uh, the coach. Yeah, the ex coach. Okay. That uh, Deontay Wilder fired. Yeah, he was a good dude. So he went and talked on, I think it was a podcast or interview, and he said this he'll never beat Fury. Me and him are done. His career is done. Oh, God. The gloves are off. He said a lot of stuff, too. Like he didn't train correctly. Yeah. He, yeah. Yep. I agree. He'll never beat Fury, unfortunately. And I do think he could maybe potentially beat Anthony. Joshua? Joshua. Just by just landing a power shot? Joshua just stylistically matches up better. Joshua's there to get hit. Fury, if you don't want to get hit, you ain't going to hit him. Mm. Uh, Fury, Fury's too technical, too talented. Uh, once you beat a man like that, it's just he just completely dominated him. It did, did what beat him at his own game. Absolutely dominated him. Took away the right hand. God, that's heartbreaking for the coach to say that. Yeah. I'll never beat him. Uh, me and him are done. His career is done. Jesus Christ, dude. He also said some, something that was sort of controversial. He did you was, listen to the podcast? I just read the, the article. He said like um, the guys, some of the guys that Deontay fought and won, he could have also won against two, but okay. in a different time, okay. you know, in the fuse. That's that. Well, that's a bummer. Yeah. Well, that's a bummer because he's a good coach, but that's a huge bummer because you can't coach, you know, you're, mm -hmm. you coach is coach, fighters yeah. fight. God damn it. What a shit situation. <laughs> Wilder's situation, the way he's dealt with the loss, the way his coach is coming out now. I mean, just, and I love Wilder, man. It's such a shame. Well, you know, a lot's going to be said what happens next. And Deontay, I can't emphasize enough, has to win his next fight. He wins his next fight. We're going Sizzler. He's, he can fight Joshua. He can fight Fury again. But if he loses a Dillian White, which is a tough fucking fight, then it's, yeah, then his coach is probably right. His career's done. But he beats him. It's not done, dude. And I, I'm rooting for Wilder, man. I, I think his coach is off. I don't think he's done. I think he's too talented. He's come too far. He's beat the odds. He's fighting for his daughter still. Uh, I'll, I'll take Wilder in this next fight. Mm. So Wilder responded. Oh, no. But this getting juicy. That's, I guess it's kind of juicy. I'll show you what he did. <laughs> Miley Cyrus. Coach is talking shit. Today's show's popping. Oh, no. Chappelle, don't do your hair like that. Yeah. And that's what he wrote. Uh, so he put, what's understood ain't got to be explained. I ain't got to say a thing. I'll just make a joyful tune. Unto the Lord and let the people sing, preach. Okay. Yeah. Well. And then he uh, did a screenshot of this. Deontay Wilder on Coachable says Mark Breland, the beef continues. Yeah. So they're beefing. Okay. Well, that, there's nothing worse when your coach for, since you were coming up, just shits on you. Mm -hmm. And says he'll <laughs> never win against Fury. I agree. He's never beaten Fury. There's just, it's just shit happens. It's just not in the cards. It's just that he's never going to beat him. Mm -hmm. Fury's never going to fight stupid like he did um, in that first fight. He, that's also after a long layoff. So, you know, but I, I do think there's potential for him to beat Dillian White and uh, Anthony Joshua. It's all about matchups and styles with the UFC, with boxing. So he maybe he can't get past Fury. That's his Achilles heel. But if Fury were to lose to Joshua, because Joshua could beat Fury, he matches up different, has a different set of skills. Well, then he could just kind of go around Fury and fight Anthony Joshua and get his fame back and his crown back. So if you're a Wilder fan, there's a way. God, that is its just dark. You hate to see that shit, yeah. man. All the shit those guys have been through. It's coaches and their fighters are so close. You're staying in hotels together. You're going through training camp together. You're both sacrificing your family life together. You get, so there's this bond. So for them to shit on each other is just... That's vile shit, man. And that coach is a, a coach that cared enough to stop the fight when he was getting destroyed. So that's a tough one. Yeah. Yeah. It's heartbreaking.